of course I had the thriller. And that was how I knew about Quincy Jones. I thought he was a pop producer. And when I started my studies, and uh, this was a huge discovery for me that Quincy had a life before thriller. And the first arranging class I had, uh, my teacher put the record on. And that record was birth of a band and the piece was moaning. And I was, you know, totally sold out right away. It was love at first sight. And uh, I just had to start digging what's going in there. I wanted to find the scores so I could try the music out with my friends. And uh, it was nowhere to be found. Eventually, I started to think that maybe I just write them myself if I can't find them anywhere. Ruth Proust, trumpet. Quincy's secretary sent an email to me and said that John Clayton came by to their office and told about this project that I'm transcribing the charts and they're trying to help me if they would be able to find some of the originals. Then one morning, I, I remember it was April 8th, suddenly the phone rang, it was 4 a.m., and I took the phone, I was really disorientated and uh, still sleepy, and I thought it was the alar alarm. And I was uh, looking outside, it's all dark here, and what's going on? It says unknown number, okay? It's a phone call. I answered it, and it was Quincy Jones. Hey, it's Quincy Jones here. <laughs> and I woke up like, bling! <laughs> and he realized immediately that 
oh my god, it's like in the middle of the night where I'm living. And he apologized that if it's a bad time, I was like, no, no, it's not a bad time. Do not hang up. And I left the uh, upper stairs where we had the bedrooms and went downstairs to have the phone conversation. And we had a long, nice chat about this project and about his course. And, and two days later, he called me again and he was at his vault looking for those scores and he told me as he found the birth of a band score. The birth of a band score, it's a copy of the handwritten original from 1959. <laughs> A short Doug Heisen, tenor saxophone. Martin Vink on the fireworks, uh, drums. I transcribed 13 myself. This music is classic music. I think it's important big band music. If you take Duke Ellington's music or what Count Basie did or these jazz greats, I think Quincy Jones belongs there. He's one of the true greats. 
and uh, the recordings are there. We can listen to those fine recordings of those pieces, but in the concert hall, it's kind of a different story. And it's really exciting to experience the energy what you get from a live band. And I kind of thought it's a pity if this music gets forgotten in the concert hall. And it was almost a mission, uh, the feeling that I really wanted to bring this music alive and bring it to people because I, I love it so much.